Hi everybody, Martin of Flint Feathers again today and it's time for another book of the month. As always there will be Amazon links in the description and I'd love it if you decide to buy the book if you use the Amazon link. But you can also just bookmark my Amazon link, that helps me out and it costs you no extra. So this month it's a slightly unusual book in as much as it's not a modern fishing book. Um, I've picked a book that was published at the end of the 19th century and it is The Practical Angler by W.C. Stewart. Now, in recent years, a lot of these old books are becoming available uh, in reprints. This one's, uh, I believe, the British Library catalogue that published this. Um, and it's a great book. Right? It still contains information that is very applicable to the rivers today. Yeah, that's one thing. It's also just interesting, right? Uh, if you're in, if you like fishing and you're into some of the history, it's very interesting to have a look at some of the old tackle, the descriptions of the rods and the reels and how they set up the lines and all that. There's probably little in there that you can go and use on the river nowadays, right? Because the tackles are so superior, lighter, faster, better lines, etc. Right? But as I say, as a point of interest, I quite enjoy it. Um, I mean, the style of writing is also quite interesting. Uh, they don't write like people nowadays. But <clears throat> there are also sections on fishing bait, spinning minnows, things like that. Obviously, if you're a fly fisherman, that's probably less interesting to you, right? Um, but again, I quite enjoyed reading it. Um, and I've had this book for several years now, and I've read it a couple of times even those, read those sections a couple of times, and I periodically dip in to the, the other sections that are useful nowadays, and that is the fly tying, right? And the fishing, or the fishing of the flies, right? Um, so the, the main focus of the book is wet fly fishing in rivers, right? Wet fly fishing in rivers is a technique that has become much less popular in recent years. And the reason is people don't know how to fish them, right? Everything modern, certainly with the exception of, I mean, uh, Oliver Edwards, and that's already 20 years old, has essential skills, uh, material. With the exception of him, everything that you see, everything that you read, it's all swing your wet fly, down and across, swing your wet fly, down and across. It is the worst way to fish a small imitative wet fly. I don't care what lies and wings says, but the swing, right? Stuart goes into the other methods, the upstream, uh, what he calls the downstream method, which is the square across. Um, and he goes into some detail on how to fish them. And if you are interested in fishing small wets or soft tackles, if you're American, this will transform your success, your, how you fish them. On the right day, when the conditions are suitable, fishing these flies, either upstream or square across, is absolutely devastating, right? And there is nothing better. Um, it's, it's great. And I mean, I was lucky when I was growing up in the west of Scotland, I knew some old guys when I was a wee boy, and look, they sort of drummed it into you, don't be lazy, right? Down, fishing downstream is lazy, you know? Um, fish them properly, you'll catch more fish. And they're right, they were right. It's as true today as it ever was. The work pays, if you work hard at your fishing, it pays off. Um, and the other section is the flies, right? And it's for, very simple patterns, right? Um, 
Stuart Spiders, Green Wolves Glory. Right, they're, they're really basic, simple flies. They're quite easy to tie, but they work. They work so well. And you don't need to fish them just as wet. You can fish them in conjunction with a nymph or something, and they do catch a lot of fish. You know, you, they're, they're, they're excellent. You can fish it behind a large dry as a sort of cripple or a drowned pattern or an emerger. Uh, and if you're interested in that, there are some videos on my channel. Um, I'll put a link to the playlist up. You can go and have a look at that at the end of the video. So, hopefully, that's sort of piqued your interest, right? Um, this book's maybe not for everybody. Fine. Don't care. Right? Like, but if you're interested in that sort of aspect of the fishing or the history, um, this is well worth getting. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you go and get the book, and I hope it helps you on the river. Tight lines. Bye.